Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Camp Christo and this is the Roman Reclamation Campaign. In the last episode we suffered a stinging defeat in the mountains of Bongol. And we are uh, going to see what we can do to do better this time. We are milking some cash out of the Muscovites for just now. Excuse me? Ah, right, of course. Can't join the province I can't own. Actually, we have access through the White Horde. I guess because Muscovy has conditional military access? Uh, no, Lithuania has conditional military access, and hence we do. Cool. Alright, well, we'll walk these guys home. Ah, but these guys don't have access. Because they aren't, uh, aren't on a loan. So we do have a loan, but it's to the, uh, these guys, the Jalar, Jaliarids. We'll go with that. So we need to worry about that. More Kondotiari, eh? Poland. We're going to hire the other four. <laughs> I don't think we can. Yeah, you can only rent out 20 at once. It's not just you can only rent out 20 to one person. Less sailors, more manpower. That's what I like to see. I almost feel like you should be able to do that by decision. Just convert sailors into manpower. Because sailors are typically less useful. And, you know, it's just... They're all bodies, right? They're all people. Yes, annoyed we didn't manage to get our tribute out of the Mamluks. We are making a sizable amount of cash on our own... On our own merits these days, though. Instantly, I mean, it's uh, good to see how quickly we're managing to make cash out of this... Uh, is that monthly? Surely not. I think it is. Is that monthly income? How could I tell? Ton of taxation. Yeah, I think it is monthly. Because 2.9 is the amount we're getting here. Nice. So uh, we're making three and a bit ducats just in tax. Sorry, just in uh, tax and production out of this area. Not counting the extra trade power it's going to give us in the lower Danube, so we can pull this money down here. And also the silver production won't be counted in that. Some of the income from the silver production won't be counted in that. Because the silver production, as I recall, gives, yes, trade power, and it gives mine revenue. I don't know, does that go here? Some mine revenue into trade goods. Or is it just here? It gets added in. I'm not sure. I think it comes in here? Well, actually, it doesn't give any. We have no provinces that are producing gold. Are you sure? Well, I mean, this is silver, I guess. But, not sure. Maybe it does get factored into tax. Yeah, there it is. Mine revenue. It does get factored into tax. Okay. But yeah, three ducats a month from that acquisition. That's pretty good. So we only have to fight one rebellion to get it done. So we have to stray into the uh, darn heretics and heathens, man. That's where the troubles come up. Oh, you're really banging out the imperial authority up there, Bohemia. We need a we need a reformation to put the brakes on this whole HRE thing. Well, they could be a stupidly populous threat to us. What's that I see? No, it's just occupied by rebels. Romova's still sticking around so far. It's nice to see. Tracky holding true to their roots. Yeah, sorry, Muscovy. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna help out. I know you thought I was going to help out for some strange region reason. But I'm really not. What? That's outsane. That's outsane. That's insane. They need to change this event. Uh, like this is not balanced because that's so good. These ten church influence just straight up. Absolutely. I do think they need to change that event. So you lose like a bit of a bit of piety or something if you choose that event. More Kanotiari? No, no, no. <laughs> we already rented out our men. We're already milking our neighbors for all they can give right now. Do we have Imperial Reconquest on you? We do, on your whole country. Fantastic. So I think that's what we're going to do. Declare we're on these guys. Full call these guys. You only have the one ally here. Yeah? yeah. Full call these guys. Take these two. In fact, we could declare on them and full call a retina. Just make sure no one funky is getting called in when we declare we're on them. No, just their vassals. We may wish to grow our army. After that defeat against the Mamluks, we could uh, take this as a sign and build some of these. It would cost us 5.6 ducats a month, which is a serious investment. A very serious investment. I think we should probably do it. Do not permit 
anything. Local militias. Uh, no, we lose the manpower. Gains extra professionalism, absolutely. Professionalism is gold dust. Takes a long time to earn it. Excuse me, sorry, I had to mute myself for a second there. Yeah, I think war with Kandar, with them as the war leader. Uh, we can have them fully occupied for two years, that'll automatically give us 100% war score. Then we only have to occupy the areas of uh, a retina that we actually want. There's a case to say we should go to war with uh, Wallachia first, but I think letting ourselves build a bigger spy network on them is valuable. Valuable use of time. In terms of what we're going to take from these guys, oh, the treasurer's died. Mm, well, might be a good time to hire that uh, theologian. If we hire the theologian, our income is skyrocketing. That's so good. Look at that, 28 now. Oh, it's because the guy died. <laughs> it's because we're not paying that guy anymore. Right, of course. I think we're going to get the uh, Inquisitor, though. Unlocking any decisions for us? Yes, we do not want to do the Libertium Veto. We could force heretics to convert right now. Could get rid of all those duelists. There's quite a few of them floating around the place. Hmm. Could do it by event. Spell those duelists. Do lose 200 military power, which is uh, pretty extreme. Yeah, I think we're only going to do that basically when we're ahead of time, or when we're in a really serious situation. Like if we take a, if we do a big war against uh, the Mamluks and take like the Levant or something, then we might do a big expulsion of Sunnis uh, and just fight a lot of revolts at once, because we could, you know, concentrate the effort required. All right, I would like to build a local university here. We have very few local universities, right? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. There's actually one on Chios. A trade dockland has finished. Nice. Burgers built a uh, level 2 trade harbour. That's nice. I'd love one in the capital, though. That would be more important. The communication efficiency. How's the production here, by the way? Is it updated? Still 11. So it looks like skill doesn't actually influence it. So it's a bit of a, not necessarily a wise investment to put it here. Although I guess it does mean it reaches 150 sooner. And once it reaches 150, its production of skill will diffuse to the surrounding area. But really, I mean, it's, it's a long time. It's not going to reach 150. It's got the plus 100% growth rate. So it's only going to grow up 0.25 once we turn that off. I mean, what is that? It has to go an extra 50. That's another 200 years. Still, you know. 1640 is well within the reign, the uh, the time limit of uh, how long this campaign is likely to go. Do, 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 do. Could do some demotion. Let's give them a gift. It's been a while since we gave them a gift. Generate some more stab points and all that jazz. Our centralization is ticking down because of our corruption. If we can get up to two stability, we can actually get it trending up. It's trending down very slowly, though. I don't think it's a big concern. Let's bump the speed a bit. Ah, do we need a third army before we fight Aretna? Maybe we do for security against Hungary. Because Hungary could declare on us while we were busy in Anatolia. That would be a pain. Plus, having another army would make it a lot easier to do things like, say, hey, Genoa, give us Tana. Although I think relative strength of the alliance might take into account manpower. Not sure about that. How long? Three months. Okay. Do you want to continue attracting them? No, that won't be necessary. Uh, could start attracting them down here. I don't think there's any uh, urban production skill here yet. Any that we can actually interact with. We could start doing it in Samos. Where we should probably build a university as well. How many more domestic student slots do we need? I think it was 17. Might have increased. 19. No, that's the number studying. 16 is the number we need to increase it by. Although you can also do that without using universities. You know, we could just build some art corporations, get some more art power here, and if we can get some centers of uh, intellectual and artistic thought and all that, we get some uh, education slots. The province requires six art power before it can be eligible to be a center of arts. Okay, so you might really kind of require universities then to generate that much 
because this doesn't give yeah it doesn't give art power per pop I think it just gives an increase that multiplies on the amount of art power you get based on them people being educated in the university that's fair enough another ah no miltech actually okay the hornifis most early artillery was so heavy it was immobile for all intents and purposes only used during sieges the hornifis was a smaller cannon portable enough to bring along on the campaign even used during battle with some difficulty cool that actually outdates old forts as well so we can have much increased siege speed when we're uh, sieging level two forts these ones so that'll be good is it increased siege speed or is it actually just a flat reduction to the fort bonus i think it might be a flat reduction to the fort bonus Religious controversies expired. Oh, we did get the controversy rather than the uh, increased conversion. Revoke the condottieri. See if we can sell them straight back, maybe. <laughs> no, we're going to use our men for our own purposes. And we are going to train another army, I have decided. We'll put our manpower a little low, down to about 30,000. I think it's worth it in the long run for security. We are at less than half of our force rate right now, which is a little absurd. Education level has changed. <laughs> the endless cycle. How much is it going to cost again to build it? I think it's 560? 460, not so bad. Dobrozhja. Can't annex you for a little bit. Who else? Moria? Can't annex them right now. We'd annex them at one per month. <laughs> not ideal, pretty slow, but not the worst, and I would like Moria annexed. If we annex Moria, I think we could declare Rome reborn. No, it's you all subjects. Okay, but if you take five provinces from uh, Aretna, that'll be it. That'll be Rome reborn. This is a very appropriate song for the talking about Rome reborn. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Time to core anywhere? Yes, indeed it is. Uh, or do you want to save for admin tech? Another state would be useful. You get this one stated. Would we want to? Might want to save it for Konya, for example. I think Konya is a center of production, right? Yeah, seven urban pop, corporation, guild, and all. Only a small orthodox minority. Large regional city. Some salt. Yeah, you might want to save the state for uh, for this one. It's a big state, too. Yes, so that, I think that is probably what we're going to do. So I'm not in a great hurry to get the next tech, which means I will core anywhere here that approaches 50. Although, of course, we can't do it on that one. Now I think about it, because that's actually not in a state. Okay. Down to 13. Income really tanking because of our hiring of this guy. I think it's worth it, though, to get the idea group done. We might get rid of him once we've got the idea group. Oh, I hadn't considered that. Uh, I was talking the other day about how what minus one tolerance is actually also plus one missionary strength. Why the church influence go back up again? Ah. Oh well. Wait, it's back up to 60? Didn't we have it at... F Sorry, 70? Didn't we have it at 50? What the heck happened? Oh, uh, the Inquisitor. Maybe. Is it the Inquisitor? Doesn't look like it. Mm. Having a religious form of education increases it by 10. We did establish those monastic schools. That's probably it. Yeah. Having a theologian... Of, yeah, there we go. Inquisitor advisor adds 10%. Okay. Cool. Violence. Never sold anything, in case you're wondering. Hmm. Do-do-do. Anything else you want to do? don't think so. Do we own all of Greece once we integrate Moria? Let's take a look. I think so. That's Greece, right? This area here? Yeah, I think we'll own all of Greece as soon as we integrate Moria. Fantastic, we can do a triumph. Get some of our uh, army tradition back. Yeah, let's start integrating them now. It's only at one per month, but that's okay. How long until that uh, speeds up again? Three years, not too bad. Uh, we are going to need to turn off divert trade temporarily. That's okay. Keep them happy. 
almost up that we have enough. Let's uh, speed things up here. Just rush towards getting our uh, our army out. Are we still embargoing the Mamluk? We white peace. If we'd won a war against them, they'd have to end their embargo against us. They're actually not embargoing us right now. Okay, that's very important. Because that means if we can be ready the moment the truce ends to fabricate our, our war based on trade rather than on, uh, on battles, we could actually easily get our tribute reestablished. Mm, okay, mustn't forget that. Will, probably, but mustn't. Uh, religious law, fantastic. And of course, yes, yeah, sorry, we don't want to take this soon because we want to get all the ideas first to get that uh, nice idea reduction on the tech costs. What did we establish it was? Like 0.3 or 0.6 or so per idea? What do we got right now? Uh, I never remember how many there are in idea groups. Seven? Yeah, seven. We've got nine. Ideas reduced by seven. Yeah, it's about, what is that? 0 0.8? 0 0.7? Something like that? Don't really feel the need to do the maths right now. Our education level has changed. I know you want me to. Pro you probably want me to click the "Don't bother me with the these events anymore," but it is really important. So I am going to keep letting it do it. Yeah, bunch more of our lesser nobles got promoted. Very displeased about that. Now is roughly the time to, to revoke a privilege. So what did they get? They got the. So what? Every time we give the lesser nobles a privilege. Some of them convert to greater nobles, is that it? That doesn't sound right to me. My 60% tax rate tax rate is pretty nuts. And plus 10 average autonomy. That doesn't bother me as much. But we're missing out on uh Yeah, the lesser nobles going to have a 0% tax rate. It probably actually doesn't matter because they're so disloyal, they'd pay us very little anyway. Yeah. Could do it. If we could get a little bit higher tax rate on the Greater Nobles income, we'd get a lot more cash. <clears throat> I think we should probably demote. Yeah, just keep the demotion going. Okay, we have enough for that next army. With only 13 income, we're going to go down to like 5 ducats of monthly income. It's pretty extreme, but uh, we are about to take a bunch more land. Not going to make as much money in the short term, probably, because it's going to be the wrong religion and all that stuff. Although at least we're, uh, it's Turkish, so it's in our culture group. All of it, or oh, some of it's Turkish, some of it's Yoruk. How do you do O's, U's with the accents? I can't remember how you pronounce those. Not sure. Anywho. The burgers demand privileges. Hmm, it's a bad one. Minus 10 to minus 50 embargo strength. Ooh, only a 25% chance we lose one stability for this. And they cause commercial havoc, but it's not the worst. 6% production efficiency, 3% tax. Yeah, let's take the risk. Oh, come on, every time. <sighs> oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. That's fine. We'll get it back almost immediately. Yeah, if we gave, uh, if we gave a quick favor to the burgers, that would get it back immediately. Almost immediately. Not going to do that though. Don't want to give up all that autonomy. Our income is going to. Our economy, that is, is going to be a bit precarious when we. Uh, nice. Back up to three missionaries. Two from our church influence. Very temporarily while we have that Inquisitor in charge. Did I actually finish the thought? The fact that he gives us minus one tolerance of heretics actually means he gives plus 3% missionary strength against heretics. One from this, one from this, and one from this. That's all I was getting at. I can't remember if I actually finished my thought. <laughs> okay, time for this war. Well, should I build a bit of a war chest? Actually, we don't need to build a war chest. We have one. We've been hiding it. We have 500 ducats right here. Nice. Withdraw all money. And actually, let's put some of it into a university down here. It's quite a lot of it. That's what it's for. Cool. We have a little bit of a war chest. We can split these guys up. Fully maintained, maintained, maintained for here. Although actually, it looks like it might be only recently fully maintained. Yeah, interesting. So we could uh, we could rush in there, take that from them. We're gonna have to wait a couple of months for these guys' uh, morale to recover, though. 
Milan placed under interdict. Wow. Interesting. Why is this? I don't see any heretics. Interesting. Why is this? Uh, don't they have to give a reason? I thought it showed a reason normally on here. Like they are accused of supporting heresy in their nation. I guess they just... Uh, Pope just doesn't like them. They haven't made any big land acquisitions recently. Hmm. Interesting. I think that increases the chance that they'll... No, we will not permit anything. I think that increases the chance that uh, they go... Um, reformer during the Reformation. Is this fully remotely maintained? Yes. Okay. Uh, we will temporarily stop spying in Albania. Not Albania. Wallachia, that's what I mean to say. Let's get this war on the road. You're still not guaranteed by anyone or anything funky. You know, just who I'm expecting. Good. And we'll do Imperial Reconquest. The war goal will be this one. So we won't get the war goal very early on, but that's okay. We will full call. All right, now. Fantastic. Wait a day. There's the call. Let's move immediately in to seize some of the central Eretna la Eret Eritrean, I think. No, because Eritrea is down there. Hungary no longer considers arrival. Hmm. Yeah, they're about to get invalidated as arrival. Let's send them one final insult. <laughs> They're probably about to get invalidated as a rival. Just my guess. I don't think we can get up there to deal with them, unfortunately. We will heavily restrict looting. We will gain the diplo points. They have such low morale. Ah, they were drilling. If only we'd known. Yep, Hungary is no longer a valid rival. To no one's surprise. So we'll revoke that. Do we have another valid rival? No. Shame. Yeah, we're going to start really struggling for power projection. But like I said, that extra bit from uh, Great Power is very nice. Looks like our sieges are going pretty fast here. Can't actually move to kill that guy because of this, this fort, unfortunately. Do, do. We're not really moving to stop them rallying their estate troops. Uh, partly because I'm not scared. And uh, but then again, I wasn't that scared in the Mamluks War either. We lost that one. Serbia, you can now divert trade. Cool. But also because uh, I think it's valuable to get these siege down quickly. Especially this one, to allow some free movement back and forth around here. Let's just check we've not mucked up. We can definitely seize this land in this war goal. Yes, good. Well, unless it only shows one error message. I was comforted because it doesn't say province cannot be taken with this war goal. Uh, but maybe because we can't demand it because we don't control it. It's not going to actually say that until we do control it. We'll see once we take this province. There's our level 1 stability back. Foreign drill instructor. That's tempting. Our army tradition is uh, really down in the dumps right now. So that could be a nice purchase. Let's see if we can get it without taking a loan. V3 really necessary for this? Not sure that it is. Hungary has no longer embargoed us. The ending with the rival ending of the rivalry with Hungary is probably a good thing for our nation in the long run. We'll take a fight here. Let's be cautious. Send in some reinforcements. Um. Uh, back up to fair. It's probably a good thing in the long run, because the lack of that embargo is going to seriously help our trade in the Lower Danube area. Can I move here? I can indeed. Good. Wipe them out. Where are you going, dude? Probably go and fight the Morians, my guess. Doo -doo -doo. Great. Just checking. We definitely can't go up there. No. Uh, let's go get the war goal, actually. And speaking of the war goal, maybe we should send some ships up to blockade. I don't know if we have enough, to be honest. It's a 15 pot province. We're going to take a loan if we do this, aren't we? That's just not. We can get war. Uh, war? Army. What's it called? I always fluff on this one. Army tradition. Army tradition. There's so many different things. You know, professionalism, army tradition. Army, uh... army. Good lord. Army tradition. That's the freaking one. <laughs> Discipline. Morale. Tactics. All right. 
Let's check again. Can we take these provinces in this war? Yes, thank goodness. Uh, no. Secular. Ooh, Orthodox mob. We'll deal with the Orthodox mob, I think, in the next episode. Fanatical worship has had enough of our leader. That's not good. All right. We will deal with that in the next episode, as well as concluding this uh, fantastic war against the Balix. Again, one of our beginning the period of major expansion against the Muslim nations in Anatolia. But until then, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.